మార్నింగ్ అండి సుజాత గారు be a magnet that draws opportunity paint brilliant thoughts and actions mirror success if you do you will have chance to not only greatly inspire others but also live a life that you will find deeply satisfying and rewarding i sujatha head department of business management take this privilege in welcoming you all for the session on angel and Uh, angel investment and virtual uh, venture capital funding opportunities for early stage entrepreneurs a day without a prayer is a day without a power now i request miss pushpa lata ma'am to lead us in prayer scripture portion is taken from book of proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 7 trust the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths do not be wise in your own eyes fear the lord and depart from evil this is the word of the lord thanks to the lord <laughs> just continue sujatha mom slides now now i welcome our dean of academics iqac coordinator and our source of inspiration guide and mentor dr smita astana ma'am to address a gathering thank you sujatha a uh, very very good morning to all our future entrepreneurs who is going to be mentored by an absolutely wonderful resource person uh, dr satyanarayana v Uh, a very hearty welcome on behalf of saint anne's college thank you so and, much uh, uh, it's uh, just such a wonderful opportunity for our students to get exposed to such brilliant ideas uh, i i just look back and think uh, when we were students i think we didn't even know the spelling of entrepreneur to be very honest and uh, we only knew one thing businessman and that was something you know people would speak like always uh, tatas and birlas like that now we have pearls of entrepreneurs spread over everywhere and such young girls girls you are so fortunate to be able to listen to such things and we never know from where the spark will come and who will flourish tomorrow so it's a wonderful opportunity for all the young students out there it's not for certificate it's not for record it's not for resume but sessions like this are real learning and as we all know saint anne's has this culture of organizing all uh, cross cultural cross intellectual multidisciplinary events and activities at all the time and not to get bogged down by the tough situations that we all are facing and we have found small rays of hope to keep ourselves alive to be thinking something constructive to be hearing something new so that some kind of positivity will come i we truly empathize with every citizen of the world what all we are facing but uh, let us utilize this forced adversity into some positive learning so i congratulate the institutions innovation council mr sujatha mrs pushpalata ms nasreen begum and all the youngsters uh, to make a good use of this given opportunity as uh, all our students know that we belong to an a plus college and it's not a stagnant situation it's a dynamic situation we keep learning we keep doing new things and with women empowerment at our heart i think we'll make every effort to make such things happen so on behalf of saint anne's i once again welcome dr satyanarayana and maybe at this age i will learn something about entrepreneurship and 
the angels are uh, real angels and funding opportunities the word itself is so attractive that there can be a funding opportunity from somewhere else yes, and not definitely. your own money <laughs> so uh, all the best wishes to each and everyone who is present here let's have a happy learning time thank you all the best thank you ma'am for such motivating and inspiring words now let's move on to the session innovative products and business models are the foundations of a promising startup however you will all need a steady flow of funds especially in the early stages to turn to those ideas into reality as an entrepreneur you will face several challenges while seeking funds in part because you'll all have to continue convince others that your idea is a solid investment so we have with us Dr. Satyanarayana Vaddi Garu, Managing Partner and CEO of Finanomics Capital to deliver a session on angel investment and venture capital funding opportunities for the early stage entrepreneurs. I welcome sir with a green greeting. Thank you. Most welcome to the St. Anne's College, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, I request Nasreen, faculty from Department of Nutrition, to give a brief profile of um, Dr. Satyanarayana, sir. Good morning, everybody, and thank you, Sujata, ma'am. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Dr. Satyanarayana Vardi, sir. He's an investment banker and a business leader with 20 years' experience in investment banking, wealth management, debt syndication, private equity, REIT funding and startup advisory services. He holds an extensive experience in managing large teams and partnering closely with founders, promoters and family offices. He has earlier worked with large banks and financial institutions like Aditya Birla Financial Services Group, in, uh, India Bulls Housing Finance, ING and ICICI Bank. He loves to mentor young leaders and want to see them grow he, help, he helps startups and fine-tune their business models and become investor-ready. He's currently managing director, managing partner, and CEO of Finanomics Capital, an investment banking boutique. He's currently uh, in various boards and international institutes as a mentor and board advisor and consultant. He, uh, he's a Stanford seat consultant at Stanford Institute for Innovations and Developed Economics. He's a mentor at Miller Center for Social Entrepreneurship at Santa Clara University, California. He's an advisory board member and a mentor at AIC, CCMB, and uh, MEIT Startup Hub. Dr. Waddy is also a mentor at Atal Innovation Mission, Niti Ayo. He's a financial advisor and mentor at AIC, ALEP, we hub. He is a member of Academic Senate Department of Management, Osmania University. He holds a special certification of a certificate of appreciation from UNESCO for mentoring global startups from India, Bangladesh, Saudi Arabia, Uganda, UK, Spain, Philippines, China, and Mexico in a wide variety of projects ranging from healthcare, life sciences, agri tech, uh, fintech, IoT, etc. He is ranked among the top 10 startup consultants in India by ET and Silicon India. These were just the few of his achievements. I can go on and on. Over to you, sir. For, we are looking forward to a wonderful session and we are really excited and happy to have you with us. Please uh, start the session and welcome to St. Anne's again. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much uh, for such a wonderful introduction. And thank you so, so much for St. Tans for inviting me to talk about this particular subject because this is more about my passion. And hi, everyone. Hello. How are you? I hope you are all staying safe, staying at home, staying isolated, which is very much important right now. And every day we start the day with some expectations, but we end up the day with some experiences. That is life. You need to enjoy every day. That's the beauty of life. Uh, today, if you talk about, uh, before starting the topic, let me talk about three things which are very in, uh, important right now. Let us be with gratitude. Let us be thankful that we are alive. 
we are able to e connect today and we were able to talk today right now so let us be thankful and let us be grateful to god and second thing more important is acceptance let us also accept that there is no control in our hand what our situation is happening right now what is that we can do simple wear mask sanitize your hand and maintain social distancing that's the only thing which you can do i have seen a lot of youth getting turbulent what is happening what is happening for the economy and blah blah and many other thing but what we can do is stay calm stay safe that's the only thing which is there in our control right now following the protocols of the government and third important thing what is important right now is is the time for self growth learn and learn and relearn i think that's a beauty what we are doing right now and before talking about uh, angel investment and venture capital funding opportunity for early stage entrepreneurs let me understand what is entrepreneurship what is entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is something where an individual comes with an idea a unique idea where he wanted to convert this idea into a reality but i think earlier madam was talking about earlier people were talking about business and today we are talking about entrepreneurship so what is the difference what is business and what is entrepreneurship so if you look at a business we have a definite set of target customers suppose if i wanted to start a kirana store or a medical store i know i'll cho- i'll choose a locality and i'll say the population of this locality is around 10000 people so at least one percentage would be my walk-ins for the month so that i make xyz returns in a month so i take a shutter or a shop for rent on monthly rental basis say 10000 or 15000 or 20000 and if it is not working out i'll shift it shift it to other location right this is called as business this is called as business and what is entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is be something where there is a unique idea what is your asset you have only an idea no customer base you don't know where to keep you don't have a geography you don't have a location nothing else so what do you do you wanted your idea to commercialize it to convert into an economics so idea is something we call it as idea economy but entrepreneurship is always about idea economy you need to convert this idea into a commercial aspect so there is always a difference between a business and an entrepreneurship got it so before starting about again about entrepreneurship if you look at uh, the global population 7% of the global population are into entrepreneurship and if you look at india right now only 4.5% of the population are into entrepreneurship and today uh, entrepreneurship can change the society we call it as purpose economy today and if you look at we are targeting for 5 trillion usd by 2025 and this can be achieved or per capita income can be achieved only through entrepreneurship and today i have seen lot of youth uh, choosing their career for entrepreneurship so let us look at byju's you know how they started they just wanted to advise few of his friends in cat coaching he was successful for his friends then he started to teach around 10 to 15 friends then you made it online then you made it into app and today it's the largest unicorn in edutech space i have seen lot of youth right now they wanted to be, become millionaires and billionaires and this is a golden opportunity and this is the right age but before you start into entrepreneurship every entrepreneur should have three skills so what are the three skills which are important first thing you need to think about your guts feelings so you need to make a swot analysis what is that swot analysis what are what are my strengths what are my weakness what are my opportunities and what are my threats so i request every entrepreneur before venturing into a startup or before venturing into an entrepreneurship he need to introspect he need to understand more about himself several we call it as self awareness what am i good at what do i love what is my passion who will pay me money for what what the world need the moment you understand this so every entrepreneur before starting an entrepreneurship journey either it can be a career in terms of employment or entrepreneurship he needs to write about write a diary of his own what am i good at what are my strengths what are my weakness what are the opportunities what is my passion what is the current need of the society so please try to do self awareness and second thing which is inside which is very much important this is we call it as insights 
you need to understand more about yourself next you need to do focus so what will i do what should i focus where should i be if after 12 months after 24 months after 36 months there should be a total focus do one thing every day do one thing every week do one thing for every month do one thing for every year that this becomes an habit for you and you will be very successful so this is very very important for us so coming back to a subject when we talk about angel investment or venture capital funding opportunity for early stage entrepreneur slide please next slide please what must startups have before they approach investors because whenever i do a lot of presentations at colleges and universities the first thing they approach me sir i am looking for funding sir see see the best way is to ask sir have an i good idea how do i attract investors rather than asking me how do i raise fund the best way to is how do i raise funds for investors see why do people invest uh, in our startups and or in a business because they hard earned money taxable money to yield 10 to 20 times right there are a lot of opportunities in the market people can invest in stock market people can invest in fixed deposit people can invest in real estate right why why should they invest in your startup or why should they invest in your business or why should they invest in your entrepreneurship because one thing they wanted to support the ecosystem second thing they wanted to make better returns when compared with mutual funds or other investments so whenever you approach investors first thing what you need to ask is how do i attract what is that i need to do so, next slide please validation so whenever you wanted to meet investors first thing what you need to do is validation have you validated your business with customer suppose what is validation if i wanted to buy a car what is the, that you do you sit along with all your family members and you plan for it so what type of car is it a petrol or diesel what kind of mileage can it give what kind of interiors we need to have is it suv is that right this is called as validation right. so whenever you start a business whenever you you wanted to approach your investors you need to validate your idea you need to meet the public say uh, this is the problem I have got a solution for it, and I have created a solution for it. Would you be interested to buy this product? Would you be interested to buy this service? So you need to do a lot of validation. Today, if you look at sixty-four percentage of the startup fail because they didn't do proper validation. Everyone is very much they love their idea. They feel that this is an excellent problem, and I am giving a solution for the world. The world is my customers, but sorry, lot of people have failed because I myself, in last twenty years, I funded lot good number of companies, but they failed. You know why? Because of lack of proper validation. My humble request to each and every entrepreneur: please validate your idea. Please discuss with your seniors. Please discuss with your professors and teachers. please discuss with your well wishers before going into the market before approaching any investors so validation is very 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 crucial because even two days back there was a report from cbi insight which states that 60 percentage of the startups are failing because of lack of proper validation so henceforth i request all the startup ecosystem to validate it properly before meeting the investors next slide please positioning are you able to articulate the precise positioning of a solution i know a lot of uh, startup they come up with uh, they come with unique ideas unique solutions but how are you positioning this in the market are you getting compared to the biggest in the market so you need to position a product you need to position a product or service in a right way you need to create a beautiful story for it you know storytelling is an art i have seen lot of people they send me 30 slides 40 said dear sir i am so and so my problem this is the problem and this is the solution which i created i am looking for 5 crore funding please find uh, attach uh, all the documents this is the simple mail which uh, which i keep getting from lot of startups and, and entrepreneurs and every day i keep getting around 10 to 12 mails and you know uh, we don't have time and we just reject it for every when you are sending a mail 
for any investor you need to send a proper story you tell what is the problem you are addressing what is the problem you, you need to talk you need to sell more of problem rather than a solution so that the investors will understand what is that what is the solution you are positioning yourself next slide please monetization so what is monetization lot of people free is not a business model how do you monetize as in lot of people coming up with some solutions without any commercial aspect why do we start a business why do public invest in our company they need irr internal rate of return if 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 i am an investor if i invest in fixed deposit i get around 6 to 7 percentage if i invest in mutual fund on an average i get i get 12 to 14 percentage if i invest in real estate i get 30 to 40 percentage why should i invest in our startup so please understand monetization is very very important when i will venture into an entrepreneurship when i wanted to meet an investor you need to understand what is that you can give back to the investor after 3 years 5 years 7 years or 10 years you need to tell it in 10 times 5 times or 20 times if you look at current market scenario every vc firm expects minimum 10x in 5 to 10 years so is there a commitment from your side please understand none of the investors none of the angel firms family officers venture capitalists they don't invest for free they always look at irr what is that you give back after 5 years or 10 years so whenever you have make a business plan you need to monetize it next slide damn this is very very important total addressable market how big is a market opportunity this determines the financing and go to market strategy in a significant way this is what i told you in the earlier slide validation the moment you identify a problem and create a solution and you need to take a feedback from all the nearby uh, well wishers customers and everyone these are your prospect to customers and they can also be your investors in future so when are you come up with a product or a service you need to understand what is the total addressable market so what is the market size for this product or service is it 5 percentage 10 percentage uh, what I, because we see firm we will always see what is the tap what is the total addressable market what is the market opportunity for this product or service can it be like a google can it be like a amazon can be can it be like a Uh, it companies global it company so what is the total addressable market before you meet any investor you, before you meet any angel investor or a vc firm every startup every un- entrepreneur should understand the importance of tam so what is the market size for this product or service how do you get this there is lot of information thanks to google today everything can be googled so whenever you pitch in before an investor you need to understand what is the market size for a product and service this is very very crucial next slide please so bootstrapping have you done enough bootstrapping before approaching investors is a company fundable or is it one that needs to be bootstrapped all the way yeah this is an important subject see if you look at the global world 80% of the funding happens through bootstrapping what is bootstrapping bootstrapping is something where you collect funds from your family from your friends from your neighbors from all your well wishers from either it could be college any kind of donation so bootstrapping if you look at uh, overall uh, global startup ecosystem 80% of the funding happens bootstrapping so before you pitch in to any uh, angel investor family office or vc firm the first thing the first way to raise funding is bootstrapping because lot of people i have seen they directly uh, meet uh, uh, angel investors or a vc firm but please understand the first thing what you need to is bootstrap if you cannot convince a family if you cannot convince a friends if you cannot convince our neighbors in raising fund how can you convince a vc firm or an angel investors so my request to all of you is initially you please try to meet all our well wishers all our friends all our neighbors 
and try to raise fund within your circle this is how so that you can have the trust factor you, you can be with self confidence yes i have raised funds and i can be very successful so i can meet vc firms tomorrow for further fundraising round so lot of people fail they don't approach their family they don't approach their neighbors but they always look at uh, running behind banks and financial institutions and they lay, uh, they waste lot of time because if you look at globally if you look at indian current market scenario scenario 70 to 75% of the funding which is required in the initial stages is between 10 to 25 lakhs this is called as seed round funding so i think 10 to 25 lakh definitely can be raised through bootstrapping give them equity tell you join as my co investor you join as co founder i am ready to dilute 5% as 10% as 20% try to take more of co founders more to try to take more good friends neighbors into the organization so bootstrapping is very very important before you approach any vc firm before you approach any angel investors i suggest you everyone to do bootstrapping second try please next yeah financing over 90 percent of the entrepreneurs who go out they get rejected are you planning to raise money so this is see uh, i have seen lot of startups the moment they get a idea they will always be back of banks financial institutions looking for funding they just leave their idea aside they don't uh, spend time on idea because do you understand what it makes to raise money what investors are looking for is a company fundable do you know how to access what is fundable and what is not are you getting rejected by investors do you need to move to silicon valley do you know what is the current valuation range for a company can you enhance the valuation what are the levers what are your different types of financing options and what are the mechanism for those so there is lot of turbulence which is happening in startup ecosystem because of lack of financing but what i wanted to suggest you is before meeting any vc firm or any angel investors you please sit with your team understand how much do you require do proper financial due diligence understand your requirement try to approach your self neighbors and raise through bootstrapping next slide please customer acquisition what is your customer acquisition strategy cost conversion rate channel cost so before approaching any investor any vc firm what every startup has to understand is what is we call it as cac what is your customer acquisition cost suppose if you wanted to acquire a customer for a product or service what is the cost which has been incurred what is the marketing cost what kind of marketing or distribution are you doing so that every founder every entrepreneur every co-founder should understand his customer acquisition cost that is what i wanted to convey is you need to understand your complete marketing strategy so that you need to answer your investors you need to answer your vc firm next slide please team how do you balance between you, you need to keep cost down and getting things done as well as presenting a reasonably complete team to potential investors in case you are soliciting finance so team is very very crucial because whenever you meet see i am a vc firm whenever i look at financing the first thing which we look at it who is a team what is their background what is their experience what is their qualifications what is their technical know how so team is very team plays a very very crucial role by raise, while raising funding because 60% of the funding happens because of the good quality of team so team is very very crucial so whenever you are pitching in for any kind of investor try to highlight the team specialization what are they good at what are their specialization what is their background what is the experiment what experiment did they do how long they have been working on this project next slide please web mobile and social business do we have a differentiated strategy the market is extremely crowded but there are trends and gap do you understand what they are so this is very very important right now right now being a vc firm we always look at what is their business model because today uh, uh, at the current market juncture because of this pandemic the economy concept has been changed today we call it as home economy what is home economy everything from home 
starting from day beginning to the end of the night every day is through home economy everything everything happens through online so use of product or service is into digital mode what is the technology so do you have the social platforms so before approaching any investor or a vc firm ensure that your product or service as a web a mobile and social businesses which is very very important next slide please probability of raising funds this is very very important if you have mvp what is mvp minimum viable product plus paying customers because i told you to validate your product you you need to take feedback from the market right so a few of them will say i am interested in this product and service so you have some paying customers plus large tam what is tam total addressable market that's a market opportunity you have for this product and service plus validated customer acquisition strategy plus fast growth complete team traction track record but a probability of raising funds is only 1% so lot of them they always look at the moment they get an idea they only look at they look at angel funds and vc firms in raising funds but please do remember that only 1% of the people are raising are able to raise funds so how do we what to do next next slide please so what next bootstrap fast raise money later do not go to investors as beggar go as king start bootstrapping now so what i wanted to convey everyone is bootstrapping is very very crucial what is bootstrapping what do you do again you need to convince your friends go back to them tell them that there's a problem in the society right now and i created a solution for this problem it's it can be a product or device so this is the market opportunities for this product i have spoken to 100 or 200 people everyone is very much happy with this product and service they are ready to buy this product would you like to invest would you like to join as a co-founder would you like to join as an investor first meet all our we call it as coi center of influence first try to meet all your family friends all your neighbors all your well wishers this is called as bootstrapping because in india particularly 80% of the funding happens only through bootstrapping i told you right only 1% of them get vc funding and remaining all this uh, in between 19 to 20 80% is our bootstrapping and 19% is all about angel fund and family offices next please so this is very very important uh, i wanted to which i wanted to convey to all startups and entrepreneurs c plus c plus s is entrepreneurship this equation is all you need in entrepreneurship what is c clarity when you have clarity you can make your idea a reality so before pitching it to any investors it can be either bootstrapping you need to have clarity on a product and service which is very important so community when you have people invested in a growth around you everything you do becomes more fun you get more done and you get valuable feedback that can save your fears of trial and error this is what i wanted to convey community what is community you need to meet your friends well wishers neighbors and try to raise fund through them that is what i wanted to convey community politics see networking network is your network that is all you need to build a good community that is where you can do bootstrapping through that community speed when you implement fast you can get immediate validation of your ideas strategies and system in this way you will experience explosive growth speed is very very crucial because every day every second there is a new idea which is coming up across the globe i have seen lot of people talking from years stating that uh, i have an idea i wanted to do it after uh, 10 years 5 years but today speed is very very crucial if you really get an idea if you think yes it is very good try to start execute and implement it come out come out of the fear of failure i have seen lot of people particularly in south uh, if i start if i fail what happens so fear of you need to set aside fear of failure you need to come out and execute it so c plus c plus s uh, is equal to entrepreneurship this equation is all you need and it is very very much important so what i wanted to convey you need to have clarity 
you need to have a community community is group of people good networking and speed is very important to be a successful entrepreneur next slide please so lot of people ask me what is the perfect business model so perfect business model is a process minimum viable product to establish feasibility product market fit to establish desirability path to profitability to establish viability at scale the first two stages need to happen before investment and the third happens after investment let me tell you explain about this because i have seen lot of startup approaching our office stating that i have an idea i am looking for an investor but please understand any investor it can, it can be either an angel investor family offices or venture capital they invest in our business only for growth not for starting the business because if people wanted to invest when you wanted to start a business they can invest on their own why should they invest in a business so please understand before approaching any investor you need to have a mvp minimum viable product what is minimum viable product you need to have at least a blueprint of a product or service what is that you are planning to do what kind of technology is it who is the team what kind of product or service is it you need to have a blueprint ready not full protocol full uh, entire uh, idea but at least a part of this should be achievable so what i wanted to convey each and everyone is please approach investor only when you have a minimum viable product because investors invest only for the growth of the business not to start a business and product market fit to establish desirability what is pmf product market fit you develop a product or service talk to people take feedback from them and see if you approach 100 people i think 20 people say i'm not interested in this product and service so you need to understand whether this product is really required in the market or not because if you look at there are a lot of startup even though after funding they fail 36% of the startup fail because of lack of market fit they started the product and service they got investments but they fail because there is lack of market fit. so before approaching investors try to do pmf exercise try to meet the larger crowd and create desirability for this product and service path to profitability to establish viability at scale see when you approach an venture capital funding companies what is that you need to have why do they invest in you for scaling up the business today you are in hyderabad you wanted to expand to bangalore chennai and other locations delhi mumbai that is where vc firms invest when you wanted to scale up a business when there is a traction for your business people wanted to in invest in you because you are you wanted to expand to other locations you wanted to increase the profitability margins of the business and people will be ready to invest in your startup so maximum cases people fail in raising funds because they don't have a minimum viable product so the first two stages need to happen before investment what does it mean minimum viable product and product market fit both these two process should be from bootstrapping don't approach any investor don't approach any angel investor or vc firm unless until there is a mvp and a product market fit once mvp is ready and product market is fit is ready and there are good number of investors ready to invest because from finanimix capital uh, if you look at finanimix capital we are a corporate financing company uh, every year we roughly disperse more than 2000 crore to large corporates and apart from that we also fund startups in the range of 1 to 10 crore and every month we disburse around 2 to 3 uh, startups so there are opportunities there are people who are ready to invest in good startups but only thing when mvp and product market fit are ready so please get prepared for that don't uh, approach investors only for mvp please do remember that vc firms invest only when there is a product and a service next slide please So what investors look for in business this is very very important vision and belief of the founders that's very very important traction and scalability what is traction have you taken feedback for this product and service what is the feedback from the customers is there an opportunity for scaling up of the business and you need a good management team 
team is very very crucial and you need to identify your target market size what is your target market size are you selling for kids are you selling for adults how big is the market what is the geography and reasonableness in valuations and this is a vast subject where every time i fight with lot of startups they are with lot of big dreams i appreciate but before valuations values are very very important and viable exit strategy what after 3 years suppose if i wanted to invest 1 crore in a startup what is that you give back after 3 years or 5 years so you should have a detailed execution strategy exit strategy so this is what investors look in business next slide please so how to approach an angel investor in india step 1 prepare your pitch deck so what is a pitch deck you need to explain your idea team business model and competitors to your potential investors so it is very important to prepare a powerpoint presentation called pitch deck and it should be your first task before approaching the angel investors the pitch deck must be simple yet persuasive to cover all the key elements of your business you must consider at the challenges of your business and be ready for the tough question so what is the first thing when you wanted to present it to investors you need to have a proper pitch deck see i have seen lot of because uh, every day i get around 10 to 12 mails from lot of startups Uh, there are few startups where they send me 50 100 150 slides but please do remember i think maximum 20 slides are enough what is that you you need to talk about see i can someone write down also five t's are very important for any pitch deck what is that first thing is what is the technology what kind of technology are you using for your product or service what is the team second t is what is the team first one is what is technology what is team and second thing is how much investment do you require how much investment is it 1 crore or 2 crore and second thing and the fourth one is how will you utilize that funds how will you utilize that funds you need to explain them is it for uh, capital expenditure is it for paying the salaries of the team is it for product development so you need to be crystal clear with around 20 slides max which is enough but i have seen lot of people sending 50 100 150 250 slides please limit your slides to 20 and step 2 have your product or service prototype this is what i told you in earlier discussion mvp minimum viable product you need to create a practical demonstration of a product service idea to the investor so that you can show the investor that your business plans are an achievable and they are not just numbers so having a prototype of a product help you to convince your angels and get your angel funding easily so that this is where a lot of startup fail because they don't know they can't showcase their product or proto prototype they fail in that so before reaching before reaching any angel investors or vc firm ensure that mvp is ready minimum viable product is ready step 3 find an angel investor you can easily find them online on twitter or linkedin search your angel based on your industry niche then send them a direct message with a brief yet powerful pitch on linkedin you won't get a pitch right on a first approach so you need to follow our angels and network with others by joining investors group by attending business meets and by joining the indian angel network so how do we find an angel investors because there are a lot of uh, Uh, platforms available in google right now you, you, there are a lot of angel investors but let me tell you if your idea is very good if it is a good problem uh, where it can solve lot of solutions then people are ready there are a lot of angel investors in india right now i think there are 60000 plus angel investors so the people are ready they are ready to invest in any kind of good startup and step 4 present confidentially confidently after a successful pitch you need to present your ideas business plan and a product prototype to your business investor confidently don't worry about the result just show them how passionate you are for your idea how will you market and scale your revenue so this is very very important because confidence is all about you that is what i told you you need to talk with present them with a story with lot of confidence i have seen lot of people failing uh, the the moment i ask them question no this will not work out i have seen lot of start 
not as feeling then immediately uh, they become calm uh, they, they don't talk with confidence so what i wanted to when you pitch for investors you need to be with lot of confidence because business entrepreneurship is all about taking risk it's all about confidence right next slide please so three co most common type of investors for startups angel investors venture capital investors and family officers so what are angel investors typically a high net worth individuals that invest in a new or small businesses providing capital in exchange for equity in the company so who are angel investors let me tell you angel investors are people who have worked in senior level in large corporates maybe a lot of nris they would come back uh, they work in different organizations as consultants they invest their hard earned money it can be from 10 lakhs to 2 crores or 3 crores so they invest in startups they are called as angel investors they are all hni high net worth individuals the beauty of angel investors is they can add value to your portfolio and what is venture capital investors firms that are part of the private sector and have a pool of money to draw from corporation foundations pension funds and organizations when you talk about venture capital investors there are large corporates there are there are like companies where they pool raise money from governments corporations and financial institutions and where they invest in startups from 5 crore to maybe 50 crore and 100 crore third option is family offices private wealth management advisory firm that serve ultra high net worth investors usually exceeding 10 million dollars to manage their investable assets today we have a lot of uh, wealth management family officers what do they do they raise funds from individual investors pull up that money and also invest into startups next slide please so anatomy of an angel investors let us understand more about angel investors what are the advantages shorter closing time why shorter closing time because you find lot of angel investors nearby your houses nearby your offices it's very easy to approach them it's very easy to convince them because it's only one man show if you really like the product if you really like the problem and if you really like the solution he says i'm okay i'm ready to invest 10 lakh 50 lakh whatever it may be more simple due diligence because he is a single investor it's an independent decision so the, there is no simple uh, due diligence because he just understands about the product or service and then he is ready to cut the check don't usually interfere with day to day that's a beauty with angel investors because we have seen lot of investors they intervene every day but with angel investors he will guide you he will help you only when required less aggressive in terms in the term they demand they are not very aggressive people they always want they will be like a strategy partner to support you so what are the disadvantages their investment amount is smaller than institutional investors generally if you look at angel investors they are all hni people where they would have worked at large corporates as ceo ceos and their hard earned money hard earned taxable money would be invested in the form of startup investments rather than investing into mutual funds because they get a higher return so their amount is very limited it can be in between 10 lakhs to 2 crore that's the one disadvantage dependent on personal network so how do you get uh, angel investors it all depends upon your community that is what i want you need to have a good community good network who will prepare you for raising money institutionally one disadvantage is they don't help you in further rounds today yeah i am an angel investor so i am i am ready to invest 25 lakh in a startup but after year you need 2 crore or 5 crore they don't help you in terms of raising further round so who to choose this route or mechanism those trying to raise small amount of capital quickly and with few strings attached people with a large personal network those who don't want to bring in board members those that don't need help setting up governments and structures so who to choose what i wanted to the moment you end up exhaust your bootstrapping exercise you went to your friend they have already invested and they said no you went to your neighbors they have already invested they said no 
you went your well wishes they have already invested in a startup they said no then you need to approach angel investors and the angel investors is to develop uh, an mvp or a product or a service what is mvp minimum viable product so the best strategy is to raise from angel investors when you wanted to develop a prototype those who don't need help setting up governance and structures so i have seen lot there are a lot of government grants available in the market right now in the form they invest the grants are between 5 lakhs to 25 lakhs i see a lot of people they don't approach the government grant institutions but what i suggest to you apart from angel investor there are a lot of grants available in the market you need to approach them next slide please next slide please so anatomy of a vc firm venture capital advantages can provide significant resources for you in experience and wisdom will help identify and reach target exit can help correct mistakes which may preclude from positioning yourself from an exit so uh, let me talk about a, more about a venture capital what is a venture capital so finanimis capital is a vc firm where we raise 100 crores from corporates from financial institutions and hnis we pool this money and we keep it in a bank account let's say xyz company has invested 10 crores in our company some corporate from singapore would have invested 20 crore some hni from bangalore would have invested 1 crore so we pool all this money we open a bank account and deposit all that money into a escrow account so what is venture capital venture capital is a firm which is run by professionals there are 10 to 12 people we call it as general partners and limited partner where they all come together in raising fund and positioning the same amount by investing in startup in the range of it can be 5 crore or 10 crore or 50 crore so what we do we raise fund maybe 100 crore or 500 crore we we deposit in a bank and how do we collect we identify good startups we validate it we understand it we study the proposal we understand the marketing strategy business strategy how well we call it as we we do an in depth analysis on their idea does it really work it out can we make 10x multiple so we do lot of due diligence financial due diligence and then we invest in startups in the range of Five uh, to ten crore, or five to twenty crore. What are the disadvantages? Aggressive in term, they say. Yes. See, VC firms are very aggressive because they raise funds from financial institutions. They need to pay back after five years. So they always look at higher multiples. They always look at minimum ten x. So if I invest one crore, I expect minimum ten crore after five years or seven years. So that's the reason. people say vc companies are always aggressive sometimes suppose the value add may not be transferable to your industry or company yes because if you look at vc firms they invest in multiple startups uh, let us uh, invest if i mobilize 100 crore i will invest in 20 to 30 startups so our focus or concentration in one startup would be very very lower but whereas in angel investors because he is only one investor he only invests in one or two startups his focus is more on our startup so who should choose this route near term exit is primary goal want to leverage industry knowledge good vcs usually possess hard won wisdom and business acumen need bigger investment than angel investor so who should approach the venture capital firm is ppr people startup who are looking for larger fund size maybe 5 crore 10 crore 20 crore and people who wanted to scale up globally because vc firms have global connects if you wanted to make this startup a global vc firm if you wanted large connectivity and networking i think vc companies can definitely invest and even the beauty with venture capital is they help you in second round today if, if i give you 10 crore if i invest 10 crore in a startup and after, after two or three years if you need another 50 crore this vc firm will help you in raising further round that's the beauty with a venture capital next slide please so anatomy of family offices 
advantages hybrid between vc and angel investor often more cash than angel investors but not as much as institutional firm more mission driven and focused on specific industries so what are family offices family offices something like where a group of angel investors around 10 to 12 people assemble together and form a family offices what happen if i have 1 crore and my other one of my other friends had 111 crore we all pull up we all invested into invest in 20 different startups the, which is called as family offices what are the disadvantages won't prepare you for large institutional round don't offer much value behind cash and industry specific networking relatively unstructured in their process and approach fidelity you can expect can differ widely who should choose this route those looking for the flexibility and casualness of angel investors but want a bigger sum of cash so who should approach family offices people who are looking above 1 crore to 3 crore between 1 crore to 5 crores or 1 crore to 3 crores because angel investors generally invest from 10 lakhs to 1 crore family offices invest in between 1 to 5 crore and venture capital firms generally invest from 5 crore and above right next slide please what to definitely include when building a pitch deck this is very very important before behind making sure a slide account less than 15 make sure you include the following slides in a pitch deck problem so a lot of people they need to talk about more about problem you need to highlight what is the problem you are solving what kind of problem is it how big is the problem is it for only india or global problem you need to highlight you need to talk you need to sell more of a problem rather than a solution so you need to talk over slides you talk more about this is the problem which is happening currently this is the problem everywhere you need to talk more about the problem which is there and solution and value proposition so what is the solution you are giving for this problem and what is the value proposition what is that you are adding to this solution so that you need to highlight a solution this is very this is the second slide which is very very crucial and third slide is business model what is a business model how do you make revenue is it a subscriber basis uh, do you, you how many subscribers do you need to have to break even a company so you need to define a business model what is a distribution model how do you sell a product what is a marketing strategy how do you pitch it to the public how do you sell your product so you need to talk everything about uh, marketing business development in the business model slide competition who are our competitors you, you need to talk what are they currently doing how are you different from them so you need to talk about this and founding team who are the founders of this product who are the founders who have found this problem and who have given the solution so you need to talk about who are the founders who are the co-founders what is the background what is the experience what is the qualification and last slide you need to talk about fundraising what is fundraising how much did you invest till date how did you invest how did you raise that fund initially is it bootstrapping who are all the investors who are your family members who have invested in it who are your neighbors who have invested in it so you need to talk about that which we call it as sweat equity and second thing what you need to write in fundraising is how much do you need right now then what is that you will do with that amount raised how do you go to how, how will you invest that amount is it for product development is it for expansion is it for distribution or marketing strategy is it for burnout so you need to clearly mention so let's say about i am so and so startup i need 2 crore out of which I have currently invested 25 lakh to so myself and my friends and we are looking to raise 2 crore and with this 2 crore I will invest in product development around 50 lakh and around 50 lakhs I will utilize for uh, burnout for the monthly expenditure because I am expanding or 20 lakhs for marketing. You need to define all that in your fundraising term sheet. Next slide please. And thank you so much because I think I wanted to have more interaction. Uh, I wanted to interact with people uh, and understand if they have any doubt. Thank you so much, uh, uh, sir.
it was really a very enlightening session and i'm sure every uh, student who's present here you know they they have started planning things that certain things have become very clear in their minds now i invite uh, audience to uh, please ask questions and queries if they have any because um, the kind of session sir is given i'm sure all of you you know would want to start uh, start your own startups and you know have some questions so please do uh, uh, you know feel free to ask so the questions or if you want you can raise the hand we will unmute you uh sir what is the minimum amount of uh, investment we can do in any startup very good question because there are a lot of startups which we are seeing which they are started with 10000 rupees there are a lot of startups even with 1 lakh rupees it all depends upon your idea what kind of problem are you solving it all depends upon your uniqueness of your idea so there is no minimum there are a lot of startup which started with 10000 rupees and there are a lot of startup which started with 1 lakh it all depends upon the kind of idea which you are solving it so generally if you look at india lot of startups it works out we call it as median weighted average capital would be around 10 lakh to 12 lakh there's a minimum requirement uh, where a lot of startup raise in at the initial rounds in first one and two years sir i have a question to ask yes, uh, in the beginning you have uh, you have told about uh, idea validation yes. how do one go about doing that very good so what happens generally particularly in south because i have seen lot of telugu speaking people they don't share their ideas with others they want to keep it very confidential even before presenting it to me being a vc firm they'll ask me to sign an nda non disclosure agreement we are ready to sign that but lot of startup people they have been working very hard since 2 years or 3 years in this idea they fail because it's not market fit what they need to is they need to do proper validation they need to meet good mentors good senior people take the feedback of this product or service until under until unless they meet they go to the market and take proper feedback or validate i don't think there is there will be a market fit for this product and services they will be losing all this two or three years uh, time which they have been working for this right so what i wanted to convey is they need to take proper feedback proper feedback from all whom so that they meet uh, let uh, see i have a uh, good problem i have identified a good problem and i created a product for a problem i need to meet people saying that bhaiya this is the problem which is there in the market i have created a solution for this product would you be willing to buy this product would you be taking this service you need to meet large number of people larger the crowd because they can also be your investors they can also be your convert, you know, customers if the product is out so validation is very key that's the reason a lot of startup fail because they don't validate it even when we invest in a company in a startup we do lot of validation we take lot of market feedback we talk with lot of people lot of mentors and ask them bhai as some xyz company has come up with a solution what what is the suggestion so i myself take lot of suggestions from lot of uh, other mentors and investors so validation is very crucial you need to take feedback about a product and service so this is what i wanted to convey thank you sir welcome ma'am any other questions girls come on sakina aro raise the hand Okay. Yes, Akina, tell me. Yes, good morning, sir. Actually, I wanted to ask you that in a startup there are many uh, fails or uh, problems. So, how should we face them and conquer them? Very good. See, I told you, in any business, anything, even in career, we have problems here. The reason why, see, a lot of people they don't venture into business because of fear of failing, fear of failure. so what you need to do that is what i told you there are three skills which are very very important first thing before venturing into any entrepreneurship you need to have three skills what i told what is the first skill insights you need to understand more about yourself it's called as self awareness what do i love what am i good at what will the world pay where will i get money you need to do a swot analysis about more about yourself if you really 
love what you are doing i don't think all these problems will be there right so you need to do lot of insights self awareness and second thing you need to understand foresight what is foresight what will happen to this business after 3 years after 6 years because you need to understand today we are in vuka world what is vuka world volatility there is uncertainty there is complexity and there is ambiguity as a human being we need to get prepared for this either in term if you are even into employment today no one can do because of this pandemic covid right it has come unexpectedly so you you get prepared what i wanted to convey everyone please be prepared that this is a vuka world again there is volatility in the market there is uncertainty in the universe there is complexity in the universe there is ambiguity in the universe you need to prepare for the risk because risk is reward and third important skill as an entrepreneur you need to focus 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 you, you need to target a focus do do that thing every day every week every hour and definitely that becomes an habit and you will be very very successful so you to be successful as an entrepreneur you need to have insight you need to have foresight and you need to focus these are the three important skill to be a successful entrepreneur right thank you sekin thank you sir i have another question yes ma'am sir is it uh, is it necessary that uh, we uh, have uh, some amount from our side to invest or just having a good idea is enough to be start a business sir there are two kinds of things here see yes if you really have your own fund that's an excellent okay. and second case yes you have a good idea you have identified a problem and you have a solution for it right but you wanted to develop a product or service and you need money for that is it right right sir. what you can do is we call it as seed stage funding there are a lot of institutions angel investors which they do but what happens is in this case you need to dilute your equity mm-hmm. because in earlier case if you have know the problem and you have created a product and service and you can if you have really your own funds you can be 100% as owner of this company right right but if you want to develop a money fundraising for a development of product and service you need to take some outsider as investors right. where you need to dilute equity fine okay. because the people are we call it as seed stage funding right. it happens a lot because there are a lot of grants also right now Uh, right. like uh, atl incubation centers they fund in between of uh, uh, 4 lakhs to 10 lakhs right. you can approach them they'll definitely help you in developing right. the product itself i i asked this question why because most of the students you know they will have good ideas they'll uh, they, and they'll be really passionate and uh, uh, you know looking forward to starting up but then they somewhere hold back thinking ki i don't have anything to give i don't have any funds to invest in i just mm-hmm. have an idea and i have a, i have a plan how to go about it but i don't have any funds from my end to invest so what happens their ideas die down they don't pursue it further so okay. that's the that's why i asked that question but what i wanted to convey is uh, people who have ideas good ideas unique ideas if if you really have guts and confidence that this can be a successful you can ping in lot of uh, vc firms because you can also write to me ma'am if there are okay. such good ideas right. definitely we can help from finanamis capital because we have our own uh, angel network where they right. are ready to pump in 1 lakh 5 lakh 10 lakh 20 lakh whatever right. it may be but if the idea is very unique and good we are ready to invest in such kind of ideas is there a way of writing a business proposal like or we can yes, just yes, write yes. in our own words Is no, there a format? Know, yeah, there's no <laughs> format. See, okay. pitching is all about storytelling. Okay. So you need to create a good story, telling that this is the problem which is there in the market. I see. So I, I have created a solution for this. I, you need to write a good storytelling in five or six slides. Right. Because see, I teach nutrition uh, to okay. uh, UG and PG students, and okay. some of my MSc students have developed. I myself have funded a lot of nutrition companies, ma'am. Yes. Nutrition startup in last yes. two three years. So many students they keep asking, ma'am, we have created this product, and some of them are really wonderful products. Mm-hmm. So how do we go about telling people about it? Uh, and what if I don't have funds to invest in this? So yeah. that's the reason why I'm having these questions so that I can guide no, no, students good, better. Good, good. Definitely, they can write to us because even last week we have invested one immunity boost uh, nutrition uh, company. Mm-hmm. They have invested around seventy-five lakhs in uh, startup, a new startup, wonderful. which they have come up with a new immunity boosters. Wonderful, wonderful, sir. We are ready to invest from Finanamis Cap. 
but only it should be interesting for us and because we need to give back to our investors around 10x and 20x if the idea is really good definitely we are ready to invest in such kind of uh, startups or new thank ideas thank you so much thank you so much sir with pleasure ma'am are there any other questions girls see i you need to ask more questions sir because there are a lot of opportunities right now yes. because if you look at india india is a convergence because india is at sweet spot you know because 60% of the population are below 35 years of age and there are a lot of ideas and today there are 60000 startups in india and the whole world is looking at india right now because of large consumer base because of large talent pool there is large good number of uh, technologists in india and every the whole world is looking at india right now and we are at a sweet spot golden age and it, i think the current generation are at golden period right now hmm. only thing they need to choose the career of entrepreneurship rather than employment they need to give employment for others so i recommend everyone to choose entrepreneurship as a career because i think we can do really wonders because you have we have seen uh, in india today we have 30 unicorns you know what is a unicorn a company a startup where the valuation is 1 billion and above and today we have 30 plus unicorns in india yeah in less than 10 years time so the lot of opportunities for the youth because if you really have a good idea uh, forget about funding you need to know the art of presenting it you need to know the art of storytelling and present it to the investors there are a lot of incubation centers also in hyderabad there are 42 incubation centers just google it uh, atal incubation centers so take there are a lot of uh, aic ccmb is there uh, aic lep is there triple it there are a lot of uh, incubation centers that they are ready to fund between 5 to 15 lakh 5 to 20 lakhs for their idea which is really unique so you can always approach uh, incubation centers for seed stage funding if you really have an idea there are great number of opportunity to scale it up please don't kill your ideas right thank you sir yeah ma'am students okay i think they don't have thank you so much uh, satyanarayan sir for your wonderful insights and it was really a pleasure and you know a very enlightening session from you and there were so many uh, i'm sure there were so many questions and there were so many doubts which which got cleared and uh, i now invite dr pushpalata ma'am to uh, present the vote of thanks thank you once again satyanarayan sir We would like to Pleasure. present this certificate of appreciation for you. Please thank you, do thank accept it. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, thank you so much. Over to you, Pushpa, ma'am. Thank you, Nasreen, ma'am. A very good a good morning to one and all. On behalf of Sentence College for Women, Mahdi Patnam, Hyderabad, Institutions Innovation Council, IIC, I take this privilege in delivering vote of thanks. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Mr. Satyanarayan Vaddi for being kind enough to accepting our invitation despite his busy schedule and gracing this occasion today. Thank you, sir, for motivating us through entrepreneurial skills, venture capital, uh, capital, uh, right investment decisions, marketing strategies, sir. I would like to thank Dr. Sister P. Amrita, Management, Sentence College for Women, for guiding us in organizing the event successfully. I would like to thank Dean Academics, IQSC Coordinator, Dr. Smita Astana, President IIC Sentence College, Dr. Venugopal Rao Sir, Vice President Mrs. Sri Kala, for their timeless support and guidance. My heartfelt thanks goes to my team members for their efficiency, dedication, and responsibility in taking up the task and accomplishing it profoundly. I would like to thank to participants for making this event a success. Thank you all. Stay home. Stay safe. Now, everyone, rise for national anthem. जय गण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल वंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उज्जल जगधि तरंगा 
शुभ नामे जागे तम शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तब जय गाथा जन गण मंगल गायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे Thank you to all the participants. The feedback link posted in chat box. Please fill the feedback form immediately. Thank you, one and all. Mom. Stop the recording, ma'am.